You know what it's all about. That's right. The crazy cop and his almost crazy partner are back to do the city a world of good. As Martin Riggs or Roger Murtaugh, you've got a lot to decide. Like how you're going to outwit and outdo the major outlaws of L.A. It doesn't get rougher or tougher than the streets of Los Angeles, where you'll take on drug smugglers, terrorists, the organization, and a hostage situation at a shopping mall. Which of these four missions will you tackle first? One thing's for sure, they'll all be tricky and deadly. How much of your life and your future are you willing to risk? As Riggs? As Murtaugh? Choose the best man for each mission. Remember, you'll need muscle and wits, so choose wisely. If you're sharp enough and quick enough, you may have time to catch your breath before you begin your final task for the Internal Affairs Department. This time, you'll be tracking down a corrupt police officer, one who knows how you move. So get moving, and do it carefully. This is, of course, Lethal Weapon, developed by Eurocom, published by Ocean, part of the Lethal Weapon franchise. I'll bet you never would have guessed that. Released in 1992. And this is another shining, shining example of why I don't think LJN is the worst game publisher ever. Because looking at this game and some of the other games Ocean has done, it's, it's bad. Um... So it's a side-scrolling platformer. Uh, it was released in conjunction with Lethal Weapon 3. Uh, I don't know why it's not Lethal Weapon 3. It just isn't. It was also available on the Amiga, Atari SD, Commodore 64, DOS, Game Boy, NES, and SNES. I believe we looked at the NES one for the 365 days of the NES. Um, we choose one of the two characters on the NES and Game Boy version. Um, we battle crime around Los Angeles. The Super NES version is a little different. Um, it's a difficult side scroller where we have to use Riggs or Murtaugh has to complete four missions in order to get to the fifth and final. There's little difference between the two characters other than Riggs having a faster rate of fire but having a lower jump while Murtaugh has a higher jump and slower rate of fire. The four missions we try to do things such as rescue Leo, defuse a bomb in a shopping mall, stop a dockside smuggling operation, and prevent terrorists from blowing up the sewer system. The final mission focuses on going after Jack Travis. Not a fake name. The main villain of Lethal Weapon 3. There was an unreleased Master System version, which was in development by Probe. Which, I, if I remember what I little I know about Probe, um, not much better than Ocean. PC DOS version was Ocean. Uh, blah blah blah. You know, I mean, this is just it. It's it's a movie tie-in, so you know it's going to be bad. It's Ocean, so you know it's going to be bad. It looks and plays like this, also bad. We've we've just hit like a rough patch of not very good games here lately, and I I just why just why why I don't know what the deal was with everybody's because Ocean there were like RoboCop games. RoboCop was like rated R movies, and I'm fairly certain Lethal Weapon was rated R movies. Who was who was the target audience? Who did Eurocom and Ocean think were going to buy the Lethal Weapon game? Who liked Lethal Weapon enough to want to play it on their Amiga? Not this guy. I don't even have an Amiga. Uh, 